Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial we are going to learn about uh, creating custom list view in uh, the marine forms. So let's start. First we will uh, go into the stake layout and here we will create a list view. So I'll name this list view and we will give it a name and uh, the name will be uh, test list view and uh, I will make this free capital and then we will um, give it some margin so margin 20 from each side and then we will uh, use row height row height up to 80 80 and now uh, I'll close this tag and now inside this list view we will use a list view item template and I will close this and now inside this I'll use data template and I will close this as well and now inside this we will use a stake uh, layout or view cell and inside this view cell we will use a stake layout and um, I'll close this and I will use this orientation horizontal and uh, I'll use here an image and this image will take a source I'll close this and um, I'll take in a label and this label will also take a uh, text and it will come from uh, it will come from our property class so I created a property class called model here and we have these variables and setter and getters in this model class uh, ID name country city and um, image URL if I show you the uh, JSON, as you can see here, it is ID, name, country, city, and image URL. Now, we will need this uh, name and image URL. So, now, I'll go here, and now, we will parse this JSON. So, to parse JSON, I will go to this CS class, and here, I'll create a method. We'll remove this and I will create a method uh, public async task because this method will do a, a task so that is why get JSON async and now first we need a URL so U var URI equals new URI and now I'll use uh, here I'll put semicolon and now I'll use double quotes and uh, now I'll go here and copy this and paste it here now another thing I have to show you now if I right click on this uh, project and go to manage NuGet packages now you have to install this new to uh, JSON I have already installed it you can browse it in this browse and you can search it here and then you when you click install it will come here to this install tab and you can then see it here in this install tab now I'll again go close this and uh, go to our uh, the CS file now as we have created the URI so I'll uh, go to 
HTTP client HTTP client equals new HTTP client semicolon and now what response equals HTTP client dot uh, get async and now I'll pass in here URI and I'll put semicolon here now if a response dot is uh, uh, so first we have to use uh, here a wet keyword so a double a i t and now response dot is success code then do what now we will change uh, and this uh, response so what content equals response dot content dot uh, this string async semicolon now here we will use string json equals content dot uh, to string will uh, convert it to string now as you can see here the first element is a json object so we will convert our json string to uh, json object so i'll use a uh, um, war json object equals um, j uh, object dot parse and here I will pass this JSON and now we'll put semicolon now if this J, J object uh, doesn't appear so you have to then uh, download this uh, or import this uh, newtonsoft.json.link now as we have converted it to json object now we can uh, get the status json uh, object status and i can also get uh, message if i show you the uh, you can see this is status which is true and message which is data pitch successfully now let me uh, show these two json object and uh, i'll use message semicolon now let me print this message so I'll use debug dot right line and I will use message and uh, I'll put semicolon here and now we will go to top and call this method in this um, main page so um, get JSON async and I'll put semicolon now let's run this on my device so we have a uh, uh, forgot a wait keyword here so I'll use a uh, wait so it will wait for this uh, to finish then it will execute the next line so I'll stop it and rerun this again so now the application is running and you can see that uh, data fetch successfully is printed here so this message is printed so we are good to go to next step and here now I'll uh, get uh, the data so data is also on the same level and this JSON object so JSON object and I will use here uh, data and now I will put semicolon here if I show you this data here in JSON you can see 
this is the data which is, is this on the same level as this now from here a json array started starts so i'll go here to code and now we will uh, change this uh, data into a json array so um war json um array array equals j array dot parse data dot to string semicolon and now if we look at the json now inside this uh, json array we have json objects one start from this id and it at here and then the second one start from this id two and end uh, here and this third one and so on so now we will get uh, these json object from this uh, json array so for that we will use for each loop so for each var token and json array and now i'll use this and here i'll use string id equals uh, uh or i will get only okay i will uh, get all the things so uh, string id equal to token and uh, id uh, semicolon now i'll change it to uh, to string to string and uh, now if i go here and show you you can see that this uh, id is one but it is in double quote there that is why we use string so now i'll go here and uh, i'll copy this c and control v and control v and control v so id name and then we have a uh, country and then we have a uh, city and then image you are in so uh, city and then we have uh, once again and i will use this image url and now if i go here now id i'll make this name i'll make this um, country i'll make this city and i'll make this uh, image url and now we will create uh, the object of model class so model m equals new model and now we will use m dot uh, uh, the id equal to id semicolon m dot uh, name equals name semicolon m dot uh, country equals country semicolon m dot uh, city equals city semicolon m dot uh, um, image url is equal to image url semicolon now as you can see um, i created a list at the top model list of type model 
so I'll add each model now into this list when it is populated this model then I will add it into list so m model list dot add and now here I'll pass in uh, m and now I'll put semicolon so it will be added into it now here down here uh, at the end of this uh, method we will uh, uh, use our test uh, list view dot item source is equal to model list semicolon and now if I go to my main page uh, dot xaml so I have told you that we will pass in something from model class here so I will use uh, binding and I will use image URL the same name as I used in my model class and here uh, I will use a binding and name now if I check it again in model class these names so name is correct and image URL is also correct now let's run this and let's check it so now the application is running and it fetched the data but the image size is uneven so let's uh, make this equal size so here I I will make this effects height height request is equal to 50 and uh, I'll also give it a fixed width so I'll make this 50 as well and now I want to center this uh, text so um, vertical option center and similarly horizontal option will also center and I will increase the size so font size I'll make this um, body or large I'll make this large and now I'll run this again I'll stop this and run it again now the application is running so let's go device now you can see it is looking better so we have created a custom list view in the marine form so that's all for today I hope you like the video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment thank you